Hey guys, my name is Nicole. Welcome to my antique booth, Green Onion Vintage. Today I'm going to take you through a tour of my booth. It's been a while since you guys have seen everything and we're really getting ready for spring so I wanted to share some of the items that we brought in for you. All right, we'll start off on the front side of our left booth. This is a really cute green chest that my mom refinished. My mom and I do this booth together. We're charging $165 for it. It is so cute. I just love like the natural finish of the drawer fronts and then of course this green is my absolute favorite. This is one that I've wondered if I should keep a few times, <laughs> but I've kept so much furniture that I know I need to part with this one, but it is really adorable. I like that it has the big chunky knobs, those are really uh, European looking. Kind of show you some smalls up here. The box with the wreath in it was just a really old box I had bought from um, just a man in town. And I painted the back white and hung a wreath inside. And I like it that you can kind of use it like a shelf. So you can put things on top or on the bottom. So I thought that was kind of a good way to use up an antique drawer. Because I see them often and most of the time I feel like they just kind of end up in the dumpster. So kind of moving around to our main wall. If you've watched my DIY video lately or my antique picking video, you might recognize this cabinet door that finally got into the shop. This was an antique cabinet door that I painted the inside white. I stenciled the welcome on there and added the hooks for a really beautiful entryway piece. I believe I'm asking $130 for this. Yep. I really like how that came out and it looks really great in the booth. Underneath here we just have a few small, some antique shelves. Kind of bringing in some spring colors. I know that's a little bright. Let me see if I can fix that. And then down here we have this solid wood dresser. It's in such nice shape. And we have it marked down to 180 and it is just like such a solid beautiful dresser. Coming around here. Like I said, we're starting to add some spring. Typically we bring in a lot of baskets in the springtime, some greenery, and we're doing a lot of pops of yellow right now, which I love. I love like a nice dark antique yellow. We, my mom just brought this little buffet in. And it's so cute and primitive. She believes that it's from uh, either mid 1800s up to the turn of the century. That's when this business that made it was in, was in business, the company that made it. So this is like a truly old antique and it's just, awesome. We've been cleaning the inside of our pieces with an orange oil to take out any like old musty wood smell. It just really gets all the dirt out. So everything is nice and clean inside and the drawers work great. I'll just give you a little glimpse of the dimensions here. And then right now we're asking $250. Which is so cheap for like a one-of-a-kind antique piece of furniture. I just really love that one. This is a little coffee table that I stenciled a few weeks ago. We have a few pops of red left for Valentine's Day. I'm recording this in January, so the very end of January. So we're kind of getting into looking at springtime and Valentine's Day. I'll step back and give you guys a bigger picture. So I have quite a few like entryway pieces right now. This Bless Our Nest sign is nice and big. It's four feet tall by two feet wide. It has that wreath attached. I'm asking 85 for that. And then these windows are also for my recent antique picking haul. So go back and watch that video if you haven't seen it yet. I'm asking 175 for the pair. These are leaded glass antique windows. They are beautiful. The wreaths come with them. I just think they'd be so pretty over somebody's mantle. And then the buffet I just marked down to $2.99, which is about the lowest that I would want to go for a, a really pretty buffet like this, solid wood. I love like the little details on the edges here. I don't know if you can see those super well. But this is a really cute piece. And then over here I have this little cedar chest that I painted. It was pretty rough when I got it, so I couldn't really leave the cedar how it was. So I did the green and gingham combination that I like a lot. 
brought in this bunny, some farmer's market totes, this window shelf, I have a, a green mailbox, and then I kind of skipped over this. This is another entryway piece that I made out of an old breadboard. So I just attached the wreath up there and the welcome word and some hooks. I think that came out really cute. We have this awesome metal locker in this beautiful green color. We've been trying to put our enamel ware and our copper inside and it's, I just love how it looks. There's a couple other like odds and ends down there. Okay, and that's kind of everything on this side. So I didn't really talk about these though. My mom just got these at an estate sale and they're apparently very old and collectible. These ones aren't quite as antique as this is. What'd she say? This a thunder mug, I think. She said a yellow ware chamber pot, rare, no lid, 1860s era. And so the woman she bought this from um, was a collector of this really old antique yellow dishware. Um, and so those are really cool, highly collectible. And you know, as if you've seen our booth tours before, you know that we really like to to mix up some really unique antiques with newer items. That's how we kind of both style our home. And it just really gives us really nice, like eclectic look to your house. Especially when you mix in like the really fresh looking greenery. Okay, I have some baskets on there I didn't mention. But I'm gonna flip you around now to the other booth. This is also our space. So this is a blue chest of drawers that my mom did with kind of a chalk, oh no, what's it called, a salt wash finish. So this is like actually a mix of a lot of different colors, a lot of blending, and it's this kind of salty paint that gives us like a white out effect. It's really, really cool in real life. I'm kind of seeing on the sides there too. So this is really beautiful. She just marked it down to 190. That's awesome. Look at that hardware. And then we just have a few, a mixture of smalls up here. You can't tell from here, but this shelf is actually an old suitcase that's standing up on one end and it has the shelves inside. And that's a really cool piece. Down here we kind of have like a mixture of old boxes, a child's chair, an old basket. We have this uh, textile barrel back there that's really cool. And a new afghan. This is another welcome or uh, entryway piece that I made. Uh, same video that I just did where I did the antique picking and the DIYs. I just think that would be so cool in somebody's entryway. And then my mom had recently purchased this pie cabinet and now it's in a black. She's asking $1.90 for it and it is awesome. The finish is really nice on it. It has these old poles and the inside is white. Oh gosh, I'm knocking things over. So that's beautiful. I like this old lock at the top. Um, these wicker chairs are really cool too. There's actually two of them here. I can't really tell right now, but they they have such a cool shape. We have this Ray Dunn pillow. Um, but the chair is awesome. I wish if I had a few more hands. Let me see. Scooch this blanket over a little bit. So the wicker is really popular right now. These just have such a cool look to them and a really cool shape. Um, and she's doing 65 each or 120 for the pair. And they're in really great shape for being an antique. Toss this back. Um, I have this laundry sign in my booth that some of you might remember from a, a DIY video I did several months ago. I actually held on to this a long time in my own house and I finally decided to part with it. So it's an ironing board that I, I distressed and painted the word laundry on. So that's available in my booth for 75. I also made this farmhouse sign out of an old piece of barn wood. And that is 35. And then our last piece of furniture 
is this dresser. It's black on the body with the natural wood door fronts. It's for 180 right now. This is honestly one of my favorite things we've had in our booth, and I don't know, we've actually had it for several weeks now. We really don't understand why it hasn't sold. It has a really great mirror. Yes, check out that baby bump right there. And then I made this other entryway piece. It's I'm asking 85 for this. This is a really old barn door that I think I actually got from somebody's barn out in uh, rural Illinois. Attached some hooks to it and the high cutout and a wreath. That's about it for my booth. <clears throat> now I actually think for the rest of the video, I'm gonna walk you through the store. I'm not gonna do any talking though, cause it's been a long work day and I'm ready to go home. So I'm just gonna kinda walk you through the store so you guys can get an idea of the rest of the store that my booth is in. And just play a little music for you. So sit back and relax. You can take a little look at the, at the whole shop that I'm in.
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this antique booth store tour. The shop that I'm in is called My Treasure House in Edwardsville, Illinois. If you're ever in the area, please stop by and check out everything we have. Our stuff changes constantly, and I'll try to do another booth tour for you in a few weeks probably when we have some new inventory. I appreciate you watching today. Hope you have a great one. Bye.